then they would have realized actually that force is the force of a mini black hole we call the proton. This is absolutely fascinating. So this is a breakthrough in physics, yeah, which is, which is totally. current. It's, uh... Yeah, because all of a sudden you're applying Einstein field equations yeah to the atomic level mm -hmm. and you're getting the right answers, mm -hmm. right? All of a sudden it links. And you know, there is caveat to this, uh, mm -hmm. meaning that when you get this right answer, then you realize that that ratio between the strong force and the gravitational force is not just um, in the way I just said it, but actually it's actually a ratio that's present in between the Planck scale and the proton as well. Mm -hmm. And so you see that the Planck scale is related to the proton. Because you got, the next thing you're gonna ask when you write this equation is where is the energy coming? Mm -hmm. You know, to make the proton a black hole. Like, okay, you have the energy to make the strong force. It's curving space time, but where is the energy coming? Mm -hmm. And and then when you arrive at the Planck, you see that the, the, the ratio is telling you it's the Planck scale that's providing the energy. Mm -hmm. And now you arrive at something that quantum mechanics found at the very beginning of quantum mechanics. Mm -hmm. Max Planck found that an oscillator has almost an infinite amount of energy even at zero Kelvin. Right, this is zero point energy. Zero point energy.